Okay, so I have a collection of this Ceramica Mexicana um, Mexican pottery. I use it to cook, make tortillas. <laughs> it's my favorite stuff to use because it's very earthy. However, a few of you have voiced concern on the content of lead and how you cure it. So I'm going to explain that process to you. First of all, when purchasing this Mexican pottery, specifically if you're going to be using it to cook in, you want to make sure that the stamp is clear and readable. And let me see, I'm going to have to turn it around this way. And you can see right there, lead free. And there's another one that I have that's uh, that you can see a bit better. So that one clearly states lead free. And you know, they're all going to have a specific stamp. But also, another thing to look for is the wash and the glaze that they use when preparing the pottery. It has like that milky white film on it. Do you see that? That's how you can tell. If it's too shiny and pretty and polishy, you might want to get a kit that can uh, specifically tell you if it's lead free or not. Another one is it'll specifically state that it is food safe. Okay. Alrighty. Now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to show you how to cure this beautiful artist. Artistic tools, you know, every artist, um, their responsibility is to be able to not only create something beautiful, but something that could actually be used to create dishes and food for your family. And they will definitely make sure that they put that stamp on the bottom of every piece of pottery. Okay. Okay, so in order to cure it, you can use two things. You can get a garlic clove and rub it all around the inside of the surface and the outside of the surface, or you can get dehydrated lime powder. Make a paste and cover it the entire pot and allow it to heat up in your oven at 250 degrees for three hours straight. I like to use the garlic because it has the same chemical reaction and it's easier to find than dehydrated lime powder. Um, so you rub that in, then you fill it up to the very top with water and you let it slow simmer and steam until the water is almost completely and <laughs> So you fill it up with water and you let the water be steamed away. You want to prepare the pot like a day before that you want to use it and you only have to do it once. Okay? So I hope that this was helpful. <laughs> and you guys enjoy. Don't be afraid to use these beautiful art pieces for preparing dinner. And um, yes, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.